Alrighty, guys, welcome to the very, 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 very first episode of PUBG Battle Barn. Today, guys, we're going to talk about circle strategies, but we're going to use the Battle Barn to basically talk about many different topics. Uh, but today, we're going to talk about a topic that we all have been screwed by at some point or another, and that is the notorious blue circle. And we're going to talk about how our strategies change in each of the circles as a group that we play as. So, guys, let's get started. Now, the first circle, you're mainly worried about your movement. So, in the first circle, you're going to have basically the 100 meter dash versus going to have to find a ride. Now, the other thing you're going to worry about in this section is that you are going to have to basically kill anything and everything that walks that is not your teammates. Now, you can kill your teammates, but that's called team killing, so we try not to do that. So, let's get through a little example. So, Reggie and I landed in Cam, as we usually like to uh, basically land here, because no one else likes to land here. And if we do, someone else lands here, it's usually a pretty fun little engagement. <clears throat> but anyway, so we land here. Uh, we're kind of figuring out the spots that we want to go. And one of the things we noticed off the bat is not the circle is not established yet. So we decided to grab a little vehicle, and uh, I put it up by me while we were looting, so that I could grab him very quickly and move along. Now, as you can see, the map just designated where the circle is going to be. We haven't checked the circle yet. However, that little bar shows us that we really need to get on the move. So, our rule of thumb is if that line is over halfway, that is when you really need to basically be on the lookout for a vehicle so you guys can get moving and get ready to roll. Because that circle is going to basically really hurt when it starts getting down to the nitty gritty. And you don't want to be running that circle and waste all your meds just trying to get the circle. And then be killed as soon as you get in a circle by some guy hiding out on the edge of circle. So then as we move on to our next little circle, as we drive into circle and get a little creative there, our second circle. Uh, you're going to worry a little bit more in this circle about your engagement. So this is where you're going to start uh, taking on the world or versus weighing it out. So there's a lot of different scenarios where you don't want to take every single firefight that comes your way. There are some firefights that you want to take and some firefights you really don't want to take. The next two sections about the circle, we're going to go versus the two different scenarios we went into. So the first one is in a second circle where we had a little engagement with uh, two players in that little right, shit that. shack over there. So we will uh, basically show you guys this little engagement, how we handled this one. And this was that second circle. And as you can tell, second circle is about 30 seconds from designating uh, or closing in the circle and designating a new circle. There's a hole in it. Add on shooting through the hole. All right. Permission to continue firing. Uh, they're moving around in there. Definitely. I see they opened the door. Yes, they did. Have they come out? Nope. Just put bolts into it. Okay. Now, guys, for the third circle, uh, basically the basic thing is that with the engagements, one shot cracks the air, two shot gives away location. 
Uh, this is very, very important because in this little section, guys, basically uh, you're getting to the point where everyone can see each other or at the point where they can at least hear where you're at and get a very, very close reading where you're at. So we have an engagement that happened just about in the exact same area. We were in the ditch over by the house. So the house is off to our left over there. You can kind of see it in the background. And we have an engagement come up. I think I have <clears throat> motorcycle coming two motorcycle coastline. guys come up on me, essentially. Motorcycle yeah, here they come. Coastline a little yeah. bit. And uh, we the thought they were just going to blow on past us, but nope, they ended up stopping in front of That's us. That's a buggy. And uh, it was just kind of a See little me? cheeky little engagement with Probably. Them. I don't know. Nope. Not looking my direction, but they're at my 185, about 100 meters out. Over the ridge. Yep, there. there's like a bush and a rock. That's where they're at. Guys passed them as well. Permission to fire? Guys in front? Dude, did you shoot me? Nope. No idea where that shot came in from. Don't know what hit me either. I think it was an SKS. Oh wait, yep, the, there it goes. It wasn't displaying what we got hit. I don't know how that shot missed either. You hit. Uh, should I shoot? I got eyes on one. Uh, Alright, go for it. We gotta get in circle. Jack, see, I uh, disengaged it because it was time for us to get to a better Only location in circle. <clears throat> and Reggie had moved down the pathway for me, so it was just time for us to get moving. So that's kind of how we differentiate between the circles. Now, the final circles, this is four and onwards. You take notes of everyone else's location because everyone else is trying to kill you as well, and this is where the circles really start to hurt, so you really want to be in circle no matter what. And basically, what you want to do is just kill anything and everything unless you are outnumbered, and then you kind of want to play, play a little slow and work your way through everything. Now in this little section, we're taking note of the guy taking shots at us here. And uh, we kind of can hey, see where he's at. We know there's guys over the ridge from us. And this is basically the wonderful little engagement of how we Ooh. just about die trying to get into the barn. One of our many battle barns. So then, we try to side when we're inside circle like this. We try to hide in places that people aren't usually going to look in. for. And that kind of gets us a couple little, uh, un, you know, just different styles of what? advantages on not, people. Not but we end up dying here, and put, like, that's like, always a little aggravating. You get this yeah. high up, and this stuff happens. But hey, remember, it's a game. Have fun. I uh, hope you guys learned a little bit today. I uh, hope you guys had fun. We're going to talk about a couple more topics in this. Uh, we'll try to make this into a little series. Hope you guys had fun. Have a great day, guys.